Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are gonna be messing with the solar lawnmower system here um, it has just been raining so the lawnmower is um, drying up over here in the charging station I was actually picking up fruit from the from the lawn you can see all the yellow stuff down there I was trying to remove all of that and then it started to pull down raining so uh, well I didn't get that far but I want to improve on the system today again and let's just see how it's doing in here here we are so we of course have this it's a wind and solar hybrid charge controller so it takes in this takes in the charge from the windmill which is this one and the solar panels which are this one and that is um, mingled around and put into the battery it does actually have an output as well uh, which um, I found really doesn't work so the output is good for will make sure that the battery is not drained too low when I attached this DC to DC converter to it well nothing happened um, it wasn't running so I have hooked this up in parallel with the battery which is not a good thing I've actually added a little switch here so I can turn it on and off which I sometimes have to do if I don't want to have it running and stuff but today I got a little improvement in the mail this is a eye charger it's only a PWM um, but for this little project it's fine I'm sure this thing is no better so um, yeah this is a tiny little charge controller it was like ten dollars from China and it got here really quick I was expecting weeks and weeks and weeks and it was here within a week so um, yeah awesomely done and this has a big advantage over the other charge controller it has a display I think it will only display the voltage but well it's better than nothing and it has a USB charger as well so I don't know what to use that for but well, firewall USB available so I thought we should try and hook this up it does not have an input port for the windmill so the windmill I'll have to um, I'll have to put that through a a three phase rectifier here because the windmill has three phases um, this works the way that you you put the windmill on this one this one and this one and then you get plus and minus out of that this is minus this is plus so um, it takes that um, sinus waveform and it makes it into a plus minus ish so we're gonna put that on the windmill and then put it into the charge controller together with the solar panels yes let's get cooking so on the charge controller there is plus and minus for the solar panels there are plus and minus for the battery there are plus and power for the load and the load is protected from battery running dry so at some point I have I don't know maybe it's in the manual when the battery drops under some voltage it will cut the load and say well battery is low you are not getting any more power which is good it uh, protects the battery so they have tightened all of these so before I can put leads in them I have to untighten them I did not see that one coming I did not understand what was going on there so when I put the minus lead on from the uh, battery we should get uh, something in the display so let's see that here we are minus lead don't let that meet the plus lead that's gonna be sparkly sparkly there yep something in the display it's amazing you can get something for sent all the way from China for 10 bucks that works I should probably okay we have we have something here we have a piece of plastic we can remove so 
we have 12.8 volts on the battery. I have no idea how precise this voltmeter is, but it's nice to have a voltmeter there. So let's put some load on. We can we can put the load on from the lawnmower. There, yeah, we can try and turn that on. Anything happened? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's um, disconnect the solar panels and put the solar panels on. The solar panel there is just that one. Let's see, brown is plus. already found that there is a solar panel connected now. So I'm just disconnecting the windmill um, or I'm trying to. Oh, I've done a good job on that. So we need to put that regulator on there. So now we have this charge controller in charge and it can kind of we can kind of sit it over here. I think that would be a good place for it. So I can keep track of it. Maybe, hmm, yeah, nice. Um, let's go see if there is power on the lawnmower. Okay, the camera is uh, kind of running dry, um, but I have the camera charges through USB and this device has a USB. But I don't want to break my camera, so I want to have a little display thingy here that will um, show if the USB power is any good and also show me how much. Let's see, we do have USB power. We have 4.95 volts. So let's see what happens if we plug this in. The camera is now charging. I don't know if the sound, sometimes it picks up a lot of noise when it is connected to something and charging, depending on how good the, the charging circuit is over here. Um, I will know this when we're, when I'm editing it, mm. unfortunately, that's a bit out in the future, but um, I want to crimp some connections onto this uh, windmill uh, cable here, um, and I've been in the basement and found my crimp tool uh, to do that so yeah we're gonna see if I can figure that I hate these tools but well I do have one and we are at steady 12.7 volts okay I'll do this and be back sure everybody and his uh, brother's cat has been doing this so um, well you just put a cable in there and you crimp it I had these oh, very longly isol insulated or oh, uninsulated um, there is no power on the windmill it's it's very very not windy <laughs> and you just pick the blue one and you crimp it I'm not fond I don't think it works very well I should have gotten the soldering iron instead. Oh, they're on there. Okay, so the three connections are on there. So now I could um, I could put them on here, and they just have to go on to any of these connections, which are not the plus or the minus. So um, that's good. That one is a is a not, and that one. And the last one is that one. Inside of this is just some diodes that um, that does the job and rectifies the the the, the power from the windmill uh, to get it to be uh, more like DC and not like uh, 
AC. So now I just have to put a minus lead and a plus lead on here and and put that next to the solar panels. Okay, so I made a couple of cables that will go from the wind turbine or the windmill and into the charge controller. The first two cables I was messing with, they were too thick to even go into the charge controller. So yeah, another one. Okay, so let's gaffer this, or this is actually electric tape, uh, to the battery. Oh, that's a bad place for it. There. Ooh. I can hear them lawnmower going out to work. Oh, that piece of tape got too short. So we are going to hook up the windmill here as well with these two leads that I have put in here. Uh, the minus one, that one. And the wind doesn't blow very much uh, in my windmill, so this is just... It's more just to be able to say that it is hooked up. And now it's hooked up. <clears throat> so. Awesome, very nice. And I can come in here and I can see the voltage on the battery. And I hope the sound is okay that this tiny little uh, USB charger, which is running very well. I almost saw 1.5 amps going to the camera at some point. And uh, well, might be okay. All the sound might just be shit. Uh, it depends on um, on the little piece of electronic in here that makes the USB power. So I said this was cheap as dirt. It was under $10, including shipping from China, which you don't pay much for. The, the manual is here, it's in, um, it's in English in one side and it's in J Chinese on the other side. And it's an okay little charge controller. It looks, the, the numbers looks good. If it lives up to that, well, we will know later on. This is the 2410R, that's the very smallest one. Charge current 10 amps, discharge current 10 amps, max solar input uh, under 50 volts, float charge 13.7 volts, uh, discharge stop 10.7 volts, that's a bit low. Um, that's actually a bit very low. Uh, discharge recontinue at 12.6 volts. Oh, the USB output is 5 volt 2 amps. That's very nice. So, yeah, cool. So, I kind of tricked the little menace to go outside, even though it has been raining. But it still has some kind of a battery issue. Uh, let's just see that. Okay. I've turned it on, so when I close this LED here, it will go. But it usually doesn't go very long. It just dries for a little bit and then it um, stops. Well, of course, now it's gonna call me a liar and keep going for hours. No, there, it, it just dies. I have no idea what's going on here. It just turns off. So, well, that's gonna be another video, I'm sure. But yeah, I enjoy playing with this. That's why you're getting these videos. Um, the little menace, sometimes it works good for a couple of hours. Sometimes I mess with it for hours. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And remember to give this video a like and have a nice day. Bye bye.